remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, African American Silk and Diamond, said that he's being railroaded today like blacks were during the Jim Crow era. The two Kool Aid sipping mammies went on Fox and Friends this morning to speak for all black folks, using the pronoun they as if they themselves aren't black. Here's what they had to say in regards to black people voting for Trump in November. Back in 2016, black America had nothing to lose. But if they don't vote for Donald J. Trump in 2020, they have everything to lose. And the reason the Democrats are ignoring this is because they are expecting black people to fall in line. But black people are paying attention when they see that our president is being railroaded. The same tactics that's being used against him were being used against our ancestors during the Jim Crow era. They become appalled by that because if you can do it to him, you can do it to average Americans like us. <laughs> if Donald Trump was being treated like black folks were in the Jim Crow era, he would have been dead. Couldn't survive a day in our shoes. He's a kept dude. Spawed brat. Don't know nothing about trauma or conflict. These chicks are really some natural bozo the clown. I thought that, well, I was hoping that they were dead by now. I thought they probably had gotten a heart attack by their diet or something. You know, like, man, they still around. So you know that they're paid shields for the Republican Party. That's no secret. They are a modern-day minstrel show. they just clowns. Nobody really takes them serious. But... It's just amazing how, you know, they're always offered these platforms to spew their ignorance. But, you know, they're like a side show because those people at Fox don't take them seriously. They're laughing at them. They think they're laughing with them when they say certain things. They're laughing at them. Nobody respects them. And they're so stupid, they don't even get it. Nobody takes them serious. They don't even take themselves serious. You can tell the way that they express themselves. Every time they talk, they expect somebody to start laughing. When people meet them, they just start laughing. That lets you know that they're a joke. They're always the butt of the joke. Like Charles Barkley, Lonnie Love then they'll have them to speak on like a serious issue and then they try to act serious. But then the rest of the time, 90% of the time, they're clowns. It's all game, man. Silk and Diamond, they're like, for the Republicans, they're African-American outreach ambassadors. <laughs> Send them out there, go get the blacks. Go get the blacks. It's funny how they talk when they talk about black people. Like, somehow, black people are paying attention, but not to them. Like, not paying attention to the game that they're running, the game that the Republicans are running. We know the Democrats have been running game for years and years. We got that. But the funny thing is when Republicans say, get off the Democratic plantation. When they say that, what they really mean is, and come to the Republican plantation. Absolutely amazing. Diamond and Silk for making such outlandish statements. 
Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.